Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing Winter Alpaca and its coordinating die. And here is that adorable alpaca. We have two hearts and we have two cute little snowflakes in this set too. And that's really fun for setting the scene for the alpaca. And then we have Baby It's Cold Outside. And it's separate so you could stack them like this or you could line those rectangular bases up just butt them up right up next to each other and create a long sentiment. So I'm gonna do that, pick it up with my stamp and stamp it out. And then we have a little exclamation point you can add to the end of phrases. And then we have alpaca my scarf. It makes me laugh every single time I say it. I just love it. So now I'm gonna use some Copic markers to color in this alpaca and I'm adding all of my shading. They're kind of on the outside edge of the alpaca and underneath that scarf. And so now I'm gonna add a little bit more darkness around those outside edges, blend it with my lightest, and then take that colorless blender to blend it into almost white on the outside edge of the alpaca. And then I'll repeat the same thing on the bottom of the alpaca. I'm just blending out there with that colorless blender. And then now I'm going to do his face. And I like using these two really light, light brown markers. So I'll put the darkest part of his face underneath kind of his wool and then make it lighter to the outside edge. And then once again, to do some simple two color shading with his scarf, making that back part of the scarf look really dark so that you can see the shadow of the front part of the scarf on top of it. And then this is a re really great marker for a little rosy cheek. Now I've got my coordinating die. I can line it up, run it through my die cut machine, and have this adorable little alpaca ready for all of my cards. Now it's time to start creating a card, and I'm going to be making a card that Shari created because I thought it was just so cute. So I'm gonna stamp the Baby It's Cold outside on a strip of white cardstock and trim that down just so that there's a tiny little white border all the way around and on the outside edges of the sentiment. Then I want it to flag the end, so I'm going to cut a snip down the middle and then connect that top point to the bottom of the slit with my scissors. And this is going to create a perfect flag every time. So I'll connect once again that top point there. Perfect. I love using the little tiny stamps that we include in a lot of our stamp sets, and I thought it'd be fun to stamp the little hearts around the alpaca just like Shari did. And then next, I get to stamp my favorite part of the stamp set, and that's the alpaca my scarf sentiment. So I'll stamp that right onto that craft stitch rectangle border too. Just using a Copic marker to add a little color to those hearts, and then a colored pencil just to add a, a little ground. Uh, Shari did this in her, her card, and I thought it was so cool, and it's something that I want to try more often, is kind of creating little faint grounds using colored pencils. I think it looks really, really cool. And it kind of gives them a place to stand on the card. Now here I have a pink scalloped rectangle. I love the new scalloped rectangle dies. They're just so cute and delicate. I just love them. And then I can go ahead and add the alpaca and the sentiment with some foam adhesive onto the little scallop border there. Now I'm making my card a four bar card, which means it's four and seven eighths by three and a half. I'm gonna just crease that crease really well so the card is nice and crisp. Add some foam tape to the back of my panel and my card is finished. Then I'm just going to add a little wink of Stella to the scarf and the hearts just for a little extra something special. And now this is a quick and easy card that you could make a ton of to send out for the holidays. So this is Winter Alpaca and its coordinating die. I love this little alpaca so much. That alpaca my scarf sentiment is too cute. And I can't wait to see what you guys create with this set. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.